Hey guys, it is Caden here, and today's video is Dysphoria with Binders. So I've made this video a handful of times, and every time it ends up being over 10 minutes, so I'm trying not to do that. So I'm gonna just try to say everything I gotta say, and then that's it. Okay? Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so lately, I've been experienced dysphoria with binders. I don't think I've ever experienced it like before, and I've been binding for about six years now. Six years? I don't say like six years. Six going down seven, something like that, give or take. And I don't think I've ever really experienced dysphoria with binding. Um, but lately I have, which it's so weird to like have these feelings, like like the aftermath of stuff and whatnot and da 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 but that's why I'm making these videos <laughs> um, so yeah uh one of the things that gives me dysphoria about binders is it being visible so whether it's on the outside or whether it's on the inside I don't like that so I mean obviously you can see this I mean this shirt doesn't like cover it perfectly but like you can't see it on the inside you can't really tell. But yeah, um, usually in like my tighter shirts, you can see or you can tell. Um, or at least I can see it and I can tell. And so like if I can see it and if I can tell, then I just have like this idea in my head that other people are going to notice it. And if other people notice it, then, you know, like I just have this idea like 100% of, of people know about binders and... Um, those type of products and so if they notice it then they're gonna out me or it's gonna out me or whatever <laughs> which is so weird like why why that's a thought in my head I don't even know but it is what it is and another thing that sort of plays into that is it being felt so not a lot of people touch me <laughs> because I'm not very like I don't really like being touched for the most part um and also just because of I have this dysphoria around being touched when I'm wearing a binder or when I'm not wearing, or like just being touched in general, like by someone who doesn't need to be touching me. I don't know. I have a thing with affection. That's a whole nother story. But <laughs> like if you touch me and I'm wearing a binder, like I sort of feel like dysphoria because it goes back with that whole, you know, visible thing, it being visible thing, because I feel like if you can feel it and if you can tell that it's there and if you can notice it when you're like touching me then you're gonna know I'm wearing a binder and then that's gonna out me so <laughs> that's another thing so um one of the things is that I actually uh fold my binder up like I roll it up sort of like um Brian Androgyny does if you've ever seen any of his videos where he's just like wearing his binder but he actually got top surgery for so good for him um yay go check him out if you haven't already checked them out anyway um so i do that which i actually noticed i got from him because i had this problem with like the tri tops like just constricting my ribs like it was just too tight and it just bothered me and like when i would like like um you can't see <laughs> watch like when i would do this or something like when i would sit like a certain way the tri top was long enough where it would like sort of go into that fold or whatever that crease whatever you want to call it and would sort of like constrict my stomach and constrict my ribs and it was just uncomfortable and I didn't like it and it was just like a terrible feeling so that's why when I saw he, he rolled it I tried that and it just made things like a thousand times better um so I don't know I like doing it that way and you know shouts to him because that's where I learned it from so thank you <laughs> but yeah so those two things go hand in hand and I don't know what it is and like I said, it is a lot more recent than, you know, before, but I don't know. I mean, like, I don't really care if I'm outed or not. It's just dysphoria, you know? Like, dysphoria does this thing to you where, like, it just messes with your head. And also, I have anxiety on top of that. So, like, my dysphoria and my anxiety kind of intertwine with each other at times. Sometimes, like, they're on complete opposite ends of the board, but sometimes they're just, like interconnected and they fucks with me really heavy and um give me like panic attacks and stuff so that's kind of why you know I have these thoughts 
And, you know, like I said, it is a lot more recently because I think when, you know, you first get a binder or when you first start to or when you first, you know, the sort of like the initial reaction is excitement. And, you know, you don't have all these other things because you're just so excited. Like, you're so high off that excitement that you're not even, like, you don't even care. You don't even care. So I think that's kind of where I'm at because I'm not high on that excitement anymore because I'm sort of, like, at this point in my transition where it's just sort of, like, not going anywhere. It's just stable, which I'm grateful for. But at the same time, like, like I'm right here. And I need to get up here, and then I'll be cool with just, like, chilling with that stability. Then I'll be cool. Like, once I get top surgery, I'll be a lot, I'll be, like, 90% better. And then bottom surgery, I'll be, like, 100%, and I'll feel complete. Um, but bottom surgery is, like, I need to make a video about that, because that's just, like, a whole other uh, can of worms. But, yeah. Um, and then just lastly, these two things... Are actually gonna contradict each other because they're basically they're essentially the same thing um just opposites and so that's just the fact that I get this for you from wearing a binder but I also get this for you from not wearing a binder so or not binding you know um which probably I don't know if that makes sense to you guys I don't know if any of you guys I don't know if any of this relates to you guys and if it does please let me know because I enjoy like you know, helping you guys out and sort of just, you know, word vomiting all over the place to <laughs> um, just express things. And, you know, I think sometimes we need that, whether like we're doing it ourselves or we're hearing somebody else and we're just like relating back. Um, sort of like Ryan Androgyny, I know I keep like shouting his name out, but just because he made a video recently that I related to. And so I just, it was something that I really needed. And, I mean, he's obviously not the only person, because there's a handful of um, trans guys that I follow, and a handful handful of trans guys that, you know, have certain videos that I relate to. Obviously, we're not going to relate, like, 100% all the time, but, you know, but Ryan and Jaji is just so, sort of somebody in my head at the moment, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, he made a video recently that I really related to, so um, I just feel like sometimes this helps, and, you know, because I was just sort of like, yeah, I, I feel that too, I just, I don't think I've ever said that out loud, so thank you for saying it out loud, and I feel like us as trans guys, or even, you know, genderqueer, non-binary people, we still sort of have that tendency to sort of be um, secretive, you know, because we're not always out because we don't want to deal with ignorant people, but at that same time, I try to be as open as possible just because I know there's some people out there who want, you know, to know that information, not to be ignorant and not, you know, not because they're bigots or anything, but because, you know, they're sort of like in a similar situation, they're sort of trying to figure things out for themselves, you know, like I was talking to my friend recently and we were getting, you know, like I'm an open book, like ask me whatever the hell you want, like I will answer you, like, you know, um, I have, I have a filter, but I'm more just I have that thought in my head that like like why not share it with the world because somebody out there is actually going to benefit from that so I don't think lately I've made any videos that are actually really too deep and personal but I will eventually um especially when we get to the sex part of this series um I'm gonna try to get um pretty in depth and you know if I talk about bottom surgery or like anything to go with, like, that type of thing, I'm probably gonna get a little bit more into, um, personal details and stuff, because I think that's just, I just think there's benefit, there's some benefit to it, um, because I don't feel like there's a lot of people who are open like that, and the reason I keep bringing up Brian Androgyny is because, obviously, I've been following him for years, but also because, like, he is very open, and I think, you know, that's sort of necessary at times. Like, you just need to be open like that, you know? Like, because somebody out there needs that information. Somebody out there needs to hear that. Somebody out there is going to relate, you know? There's some type of benefit to it. So, um, I mean, obviously, there's always going to be, like, haters and ignorant people and, like, inappropriate people and da-da-da-da. But 
I mean, that just sort of not even that doesn't even come with the tour territory. That just comes with life, you know. That just comes with society, and um, yeah. So anyway, uh, that was like my little soapbox rant, I guess. I don't even know what that was. Where did that come from? <laughs> but back to binding really quickly before this video gets too too long. Um, binding makes me dysphoric, and so does not binding. Binding makes me dysphoric because, like I said, like that whole idea of it being visible, that whole idea of it being silt, it just bothers me. And not binding also bothers me because it has that, it's sort of like on that same um, spectrum of where like you can see my chest, you can feel my chest, like, you know, so it's like, and I think the reason I've been feeling these ways and, you know, is just because of the fact that I haven't gotten top surgery and I don't know when I'm going to get top surgery, probably not until probably not for like another two years like I'm trying not to do it longer than two years so if not by I can't take any time off of school so um I finish I start barber college January 5th and then I finish in September so it's either going to be sometime after September next year or you know the beginning of uh 2017 so yeah so I'm trying to get all that situated and that's just like a big mess of things so that kind of sucks but at least it's obtainable at least it's realistic like I can't do it right here right now and you know I wish I could but that's um I'm things happened and that's just not how it's gonna be so I gotta live with it and you know but the fact that I haven't gotten top surgery sort of has me like thinking these thoughts and feeling this way because once I get top surgery I don't really have chest dysphoria you know I mean there are things that I it's possible I can still have chest dysphoria like if I'm not content with like how my chest looks and stuff but I mean honestly aesthetics aren't really like my biggest thing right now um which is also contradicting in and of itself because why am I binding if I don't care about aesthetics? And blah, blah, blah. But yeah, anyway, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm going to bring up Ryan and Josh's name one more time. I swear, like, this is, like, I, I'm sorry, like, uh, like, I'm sorry if I keep saying his name, but <laughs> I, I feel like I've just related to him more recently. But, like, um, before he had gotten top surgery, he was talking about how he would stop binding. And I had stopped binding. And so... Like, that was just something I related to because he was talking about how he stopped binding because it was just too painful. And I feel that, too, because binding is so painful, especially when you've been doing it for so long. And it's like, the, like I have a bad back anyway, and so binding has just made it, like, a thousand times worse. And, you know, it's just so painful. And, like, it got to this point where I would take my binder off and I would still be in pain because my body like lack that support that fake support that it was getting from the binder so it was like it was painful to have it on it was painful to have it off and then if i had it off then you could see my chest and you feel my chest and blah, 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 blah. so yeah binders are great they're awesome i love binders um thank people for creating them um i actually want to try the gc2b1 but yeah but i mean they're still like it's not going to cure your dysphoria 100 percent so, and that's sort of, like, where I'm at right now is, like, I was so good, <laughs> I was so good, and then dysphoria was just, like, Phew. so, yeah, I don't know, um, I'm not gonna edit this video, so I apologize for it being long, and I apologize for talking too much, and I apologize for continuously saying and bringing up Ryan Androgyny, but, <laughs> um, he's a cool dude, go follow him on YouTube, subscribe, watch the videos, Anyway, um, all my info is down there, and uh, I leave to California this Wednesday, so there will be a video up. Uh, I don't know what video I'm going to put up, but next Saturday I'll be there too, but I will put up um, Dysphoria on Packers. So um, we're still going to continue this. Um, I think it's Packers Identity and Sex, and I think I might actually do one about like top and bottom Dysphoria, and I might... So, I might enclose those as well. But for now, that's what's on the agenda for Saturdays. Um, 
you know, if you don't like it, click away now or forever waste your time. So, uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you can fit late to this and hopefully this helps you in some type of way. It, these videos are not meant to like discourage anybody in any type of way. And it's not meant to, you know, say like, like dysphoria is like, like this monster that's never going to leave you alone. It's just to say that, you know, like, because obviously not all people are the same. Like, not all people transition in the same way. Some people will feel content just with top surgery and no hormones. Some people feel good with all the surgeries and all the hormones. And some people will just feel good as themselves. So, you know, obviously it's from person to person. But for me personally, I'm just saying that, like, I'm not there yet. And that dysphoria has just sort of been hitting me a lot recently. And so I've been feeling certain ways about certain things. And, you know, like, I just haven't been at that point where I'm cured. Like, that's that's not the word I want to say, but, like, I'm just not complete. I'm not complete. And um, I think, you know, surgery is sort of going to help me get there. So I'm content. I'm content. I'm comfortable. I'm confident. I'm good. Um, I know who I am and what I am and da da da, da But I just, I'm not 100% where I want to be. So, and even, like, after I get chest, sur top surgery, I'm not gonna be content because I'm still gonna want to, like, gain more weight and, you know, work out more and, like, you know, like, see the different results in, like, um, my forearms and my chest. And so, even, like, surgeries and stuff aren't gonna cure me. So, I'm still gonna have dysphoria. But this is in no ways or means to discourage you. It's just sort of, you know, for me to say that, like, you know, dysphoria is a real thing, and it sucks, and it's terrible. But, like, you know, you will overcome it, and, you know, there's things that actually make it better, and, you know. So, I just, the reason I'm sort of making these videos is just to say that, like, dysphoria is... why can't I think of words right now? <laughs> um, but it's, you can live with it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Like, what's that word? I don't know that word, but if, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so like, dysphoria is, sucks, but I mean, it's controllable. What the, what is that word, y'all? Like, okay, I'm just gonna go now, because this video is getting too long. But if you know that video, that word that I'm talking about, that I'm thinking about, that's in my head, then, you know, y'all know what I'm, what is what it is. So, yeah, but, yeah, so I'm gonna continue these videos, and I just, I hope this is benefiting somebody out there, honestly. But like I said, all my info is down there, and I'll see you next time. I'm sorry, 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 sorry this video is so long. I tried, but I made this video so many times, and every time it ends up being so long. And, like, there's just not even a point to edit it, because I just keep freaking rambling and bambling, because what's wrong with me? I don't know. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Peace out.